Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, and we start with a chat. It's fascinating, sir. I'm busy compiling the Promethean dossier. Take a look at it when you can, sir. You won't regret it. Okay, that was quicker than I thought, and we have another talk. There is a large horde of the undead swarming towards the surface. If they are not stopped, they will wreak havoc in the city. As if the situation wasn't bad enough. Luckily, they will go through one of our old outposts, which has a network of traps and defensive installations. It is currently unmanned, so we need to send someone over there. I'll deal with the horde myself. Yes, but that I can tell you, we are not gonna do today. Oh, the sweet scent of rotting scrimbeast innards. I got them in Nalavoy. Can you use them? Oh, I can create a powerful potion for you with permanent effects right now. I would like to have that potion made, please. Alright, so that is quite astonishing. And then we outlaw in distress. Let's see if we um, can finish up west, so to say, and then see what is going to happen. Okay, there we are. Good, good, good. And then we will uncover this little space there, right? We still haven't cleared out all the enemies. And in order to receive the experience points we need, we will do that. The monsters are gone. Thank you. And uh, please take these for your troubles. Have a nice robbery tomorrow. Okay, I mopped up all the monster uh, monstrous activities around the ruined stagecoach. The locals will be happy. Cheers. Okay, I thought I might have overseen some guys there. So what I did in the off, I increased the I increased the HP of those beasts. This is very very much appreciated, right? Okay, then we don't have too too much to clear out here. That is convenient too. Hmm. Something is very unsettling about this crystal. To mortal eyes, it's standing still, but in reality, it's blinking into different ink realms at astonishing speed. In another word, it's dangerous. Maybe, or maybe not. There is an easy way to find out. A life-threatening kind of easy, I presume. Don't be a sissy, Van Helsing. Hit the crystal. I'm going to regret this. Oh! The rabbit? Okay. Hit it again. Okay, it's then gonna this be so exciting. Try again. Don't stop now. Hit the crystal. Hit it again. Okay, that's a neat little feature. This is so it seems like the crystal has become depleted. Let's move on. Okay, then we will go on, not with the undead horde, but we we'll find the entrance to the secret hideout. But I'm not certain where we gonna need to go. That's why we go back to the secret layer in order to have the waypoints available. Wrong again. So we are gonna check out that, the wrath Wraith Rods, but um, I don't know if that is the right location. Okay, there we are. I hope that this is the right location. But this is where we left off in the last episode, right? AOE damage obviously is helping out immensely. 
This is actually what might have been the trouble I had with the character from the second part, the hunter, that I really, really didn't invest in spells. And through that we didn't have AoE spells, right? Look, an old sacrificial site. Mm, brings back memories. It's a gateway to the deepest ink realms, which are, as we learned, the dwelling place of some truly nasty creatures. And someone has tried to rip this gate open recently. From this side, sadly. So much ink is seeping through the cracks that my senses are tingling. I remember an incantation for sealing such fissures, but I just can't recall the whole ritual. It involved drawing an arcane pattern around the gate. Will you give it a try? Or how about failing on purpose? We might get to meet a big bad creature from the other side. Blast this incantation. Every time I make a mistake, the cracks get wider. These are just lesser names. I want my big bad one! Uh, how about a pony instead? Okay, so we gotta need to find that out, right? So how do we know that we hit the right one? This is what I'm asking myself. Okay, this took me a little while. The gate is closed. So there goes my hope of meeting a charmingly evil creature. The faceless Tsar is not good enough for you as a villain. Well, it's hard to be charming without a face. Okay, that was a nice little riddle. Um, but it was, more to say, actually a coincidence. I, in the end, just did, you know, hit them one by one until we were done here, right? Give me that essence, thank you. So that Katarina is actually tanking here a little bit, obviously is helping out a lot. And those guys, we, or at least I remember from the second part. As I already have said a couple of times, it is at least two years ago that I played the first part, maybe even three. Should actually check that. So I have no clue what kind of beasts have been there in the first one. Alright. This is great. I don't... Okay, we are not gonna go... We are go getting reports of monsters attacking the city. Please assess the situation when you have the chance. And I should actually kite in the other direction, right? So we don't trigger enemies like so. Oh goodness, champions. We love that, right? The same curse is hanging over the Wraith Woods, despite the ink spell cutting the forest in half. So we already know what to do. First of all, we are gonna be killing some enemies. Wow, 
What? Okay. We really gotta need to stay out of there. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's gonna be costly, man. This is as much as I think it's great that we don't need to buy them health portions. I enjoyed it in the second part. I don't, as I said, I don't know how it is in the um, first part. I did enjoy enjoyed it a little bit more that we was able to buy them and not have a hideous cooldown there. Although it might obviously be that we can through a skill or whatever make the cooldown a little shorter but that I don't know oh my god these veterans why are they so powerful Okay, thank you for nothing. Okay, they are all, well, at least that we have. Okay. So we have a goal, right? Go there, go there. We are maybe gonna make the right side, but the other one we are definitely not gonna make in today's episode that I can already spoil, yeah? Wherever these guys were coming from. Nasty little spiddle buggers. And should fire spells against the walkers, for example, the fire spells. This is what I said, right? Fire spells, shouldn't they be a little bit more powerful since, you know, what is fire doing to wood? Yes, it burns it quickly. At least the dry one. Okay, and there you can see the damage the small dudes can do. And that worked out as expected. Thank you. Okay, silent creaker. I do... This is... I haven't noticed that too, too heavily in the second part. But I have to say I... Kinda enjoy how the monsters do look here the style is very very much what i do enjoy man okay i like though you argue i might have wasted the um, flame serpent since it wasn't really shooting that much but well One is down, one remains, and it is gone too. I like that our basic skill or spell, sorry, spell is the right thing, is actually channeled. I do like that. There is an inscription on the statue saying, chase the hands on the clock through four archways, then go the way you came for divine grace. Okay, whatever. I don't know what that means and what we are supposed to do. There is an inscription. Okay, yes. We are gonna skip that. Oh, okay. Because of the clouds. Alright, I get it. All 
Alright, thank you, little ones. Take it down too. And this one is then a quick gonna to let Another me. Another ink grub. Yes. I always love an excuse to destroy something. Okay, another thing done. And that, you guys, right now, is actually bringing us to the end of this episode. In the next one, we are gonna clear the last one out and then head on with the main. But for now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.